there are two layers of the dermis. The superficial papillary layer is composed of loose areolar connective tissue. The spaces in this tissue allow white blood cells to move freely. There are the capillaries, which service the avascular epidermis, and a number of collagen and elastic fibers, in addition to a number of neurons, which contribute to some of the sensations of the skin. 80% of the dermis is composed of the deeper layer, the reticular layer, which contains dense irregular connective tissue. The collagen fibers here travel in multiple directions so that the dermis can resist tensile forces from a variety of directions. The skin can be pulled from multiple directions and the collagen fibers provide strength in resisting this tension. Also, the dermis contains an abundant blood supply. Given that the movement of blood towards or away from the skin helps us to regulate our body temperature. There are a number of cutaneous plexuses of blood vessels which allow uh, for this thermoregulation.